Hi, my name is Joan Stensler. I'm a communication specialist and women's empowerment coach, and I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I'd like to share a conversation I had recently with a wise and inspiring woman, Liz Loria, who has been part of my women's empowerment incubator. Liz is going to share with you her amazing journey from uncertainty to self-confidence and hesitancy to assertive and empowered communication. I hope you find it interesting and thank you for listening. And now my conversation with Liz. So um, Liz, it's really good having you um, here today and I'm really grateful that you're willing to talk with me about um, what brought you to um, be part of the Women's Empowerment Incubator and what was going on for you at that time. And, you know, a little bit about what attracted you to being part of this. Um, so I joined the group because I, at that time in my life, last year in August, I was in a leadership role in my work. I did not feel that I had the capabilities to be a leader in that role. I needed support and I needed some confidence to actually carry out the role. So when you started an empowerment group, I felt like that was exactly what I needed. I needed to feel empowered. I needed some tools and skill building in order to carry out my work as a leader, as a director. Um, I was experiencing feeling depressed and unsatisfied with my work. Um, strongly felt like I was an imposter in the, in the position, struggling with imposter syndrome. So from my experience with the group, it became a really great space for me to get support from people who were not in my world, not in my work. Um, so I would come to the group and I would present a situation that had a new, I could get a new perspective on. Um, and it was, it helped me to realize that I can separate myself from the work. And I learned strategies for how I can speak more confidently in the role. Um, I notice big improvements every week after meeting with everyone and discussing situations, discussing how I was feeling, what I was going through, and then I would apply it for the rest of the week. And I would definitely see improvements over time. Um, some very specific situations come to my mind with my work where before I joined the group, um, when I would be in a meeting with a superior or even an equal or a student who I was working with, I felt like I did not know what I was doing and I didn't have the confidence to carry out the meeting and I would get so anxious. But through working with the group and learning strategies on how to speak more confidently and clearly, I noticed a huge jump in my ability to command attention and explain what I needed. Um, a meeting with the same person before the group would have put me in tears with anxiety and after I was so proud of myself for how I was able to explain exactly what I needed from this person, how I needed it to be done. I was so proud of how confidently I spoke, my body language in the meeting, all of it was a huge improvement. And that was only over the course of a couple of months. Wow, I'm so glad, so glad that that was a change you could see in your way of seeing yourself and in your way of responding to challenging situations and that the group had such an impact on you in that way. Could you tell me a little bit about what it was about being in this kind of situation in a, an intimate group of women that was designed to help encourage you to um, develop these skills, these tools? What, what do you think it was about the group that helped you to be able to make such changes and have such a shift in how you felt about yourself and your work? I think the makeup of the group 
was so essential to it. Um, we had we have women from all walks of life, different ages, backgrounds, professions. Um, it was helpful to learn from these other women and what they've experienced uh, by bringing a situation that they're not involved in, but they could relate to. They could give me advice. They could tell me how they dealt with the situation, um, how they were able to manage their own anxiety or you know, feelings in their situation, I was able to apply it to my situation. Mm -hmm. um, I always feel comfortable with these women. Um, I look forward to seeing them and hearing their progress. Mm -hmm. I get so excited to tell them about my progress. Um, there were a few times outside of the session where I sent an email to update everyone on a situation that I had experienced and I just felt such an improvement. Um, there, there's just been such a nice synergy with the group. Um, Is yeah. there anything about the way that it was structured that made a difference for you? And the yeah. way, and the, and the kind of the guidelines around which the group was formed? Yes, I appreciate um, always having an agenda for what the session will, how the session will flow that night. Uh, that's my learning style. I like to know what I'm in for. And you would send us um, some type of a, an activity to think about or questions to think about prior to it. So I knew to be aware of it and it, it kept me accountable for thinking about how I can incorporate these new skills or new approaches. So when I would get to our session on Wednesday, I felt prepared. I felt confident in what I could bring to the discussion. Um, the way that the, the sessions would play out, I really loved the breakout rooms because it gave us an opportunity to get to know each other more. It, it allowed us to connect and we would talk about, you know, the topic and the activity, but then there was always a few minutes to just catch up and and see what how everyone how everyone's doing how everything's going and those are those moments that really I think made our bonds stronger um, and through those moments we were able to connect on different areas of our lives through reading art and crafts um, hobbies relationships um, so everything it wasn't cold in any way of a structured, this is a lecture, this is your class. I appreciate being interactive with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, How yeah. important was the level of safety that was created and the understanding that people had coming in about what the expectation was for, you know, what they would be receiving from the group and what they would be um, agreeing to give to the group and to one another? It was very important. It was critical to this whole thing. This whole, it was critical to the success of these groups, knowing that this was a safe space, that we could bring in anything, that we can share as much as we want or as little as we want. Um, and you could see over time how everyone became more comfortable and more vulnerable with that with that, with each other, because knowing we were in a safe space that we could share, um, nobody's going to judge. Everybody has something that they could share on it. Um, we can all connect in different ways. So the safety of knowing that this was a place where I could share anything and I'm not going to be judged, that I will get support. It's guided, it's structured, but it's still open enough. Um, to share. Mm -hmm. When you look back on what your experience has been so far since we started the program together uh, last summer, I believe it was the middle of August, um, what difference do you see in where you are now and where you were before? And have there been any significant changes you've been able to make? Clearly, you've already talked about some of the changes you've been able to make 
in the way the interchanges, in the way you feel about yourself and your ability to then step into things in a more confident way. Can you tell us a little bit about that and about some other changes you may have made as a result? Yes. Um, the group and the sessions and the work that we did allowed me to realize that my concerns with my work and being in this leadership role wasn't about my inability to do the work. Um, it was just more about my own confidence. And once I built up that confidence, I realized that I could do the work. I have the skills. I'm capable. I just wasn't happy doing the work. And then I moved into this period of, well, I can do this and I know what I'm doing, but I'm not, I'm actually not happy doing this work. I, I don't want to stay in this job. And then I felt really guilty about leaving the job. And I was afraid to even look for something else because I, I was feeling so, so many feelings about it and talking with the group and working through it with the group helped me helped me learn and understand that I do deserve to be in work that I want to do that makes me happy mm -hmm. so it gave me another boost of confidence to seek out a new position test the water see what's out there see what it's going to be like to actually leave this this job gave me that boost of confidence I did I left the job and I just started a brand new position i very happy in it I feel confident, comfortable, supported. I'm in a system that I don't feel like an imposter. So it, a huge change. Mm -hmm. Much to your credit, because clearly doing something like that is really a big thing to have to do and to choose to do. And it sounds like there were different things that helped support you along the way that you found um, were part of what came for you from the group and from those people, those wonderful women that shared the experience with you um, to make that possible, to make you feel like I can do this. You know, I have what it takes. And it sounds like part of what you discovered, tell me if I'm getting this right. It sounds like part of what you discovered is that part of the reason you felt the way you did was it was a new position, so it was unfamiliar, but also you were in an environment where you weren't being supported. And it's critical when you're, you know, working to be able to feel there's um, a support system and a healthy way of handling problems on an organizational level, backing you up so that you can actually effectively do the job. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to know that now, right? That you're in a situation where things are healthier and the foundation that you have underneath you is there to make it possible for you to do the job and not have to work so hard and feel like you have to work against other people, not against other people, but work um, in a way that feels like it's a struggle with other people to do what they've asked you to do. Right, right. And, and being able to bring these, these experiences into the group to talk about them and analyze them digest them helped me realize that that space wasn't normal and it wasn't healthy because I could complain as much as I want to my coworkers, but we're all in it together. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, it wasn't giving me that clarity that I needed, mm -hmm. but being in the group, knowing it was safe, it was um, different perspectives helped me find that clarity. Well, I'm really delighted for you that you've gone through this transition and that you have successfully landed in a place where you feel more supported, where it's healthy, where you feel that you can confidently do the work and particularly glad that in the process of going on your own journey with the support of the Women's Empowerment Incubator that you have recognizing yourself you have those capabilities and develop the confidence to be able to use them for your own benefit to improve your situation definitely <laughs> well i am um 
again, thanking you once again for your time and for your willingness to talk with me about this. And um, just wanting to uh, let you know that um, I look forward to having you continue with us in this process and look forward to having you continue in the group. For those people who are interested in learning more about this program, I'd be happy to share that information with you. And the way you can do that is by getting in touch with me at my email, which is info at youramazingjourney.com. I'll be happy to uh, fill you in um, if you would like to uh, be included in the program information that'll be coming out really soon about our next program. And Liz, I'd really like to thank you for your time and willingness to share your experience with me. My pleasure. And thank you for all that you've done. Couldn't have gotten here without you and the group. You're so welcome. <laughs>